back Justin Zwick. Great All-American in high school. They even say Ohio State history is one of the top recruits. Now his time and his time to perform with his offense. From the 20th first down pass. Down the middle. Santonio Holmes. Touchdown. Buckeye. They put that play in just for this team. Outstanding kicker. Mike Nugent hits his 54th consecutive extra point. So over the last four games, the last two last year, the first two this year, Santonio Holmes has taken it all the way. The sophomore out of Florida with the touchdown. Got by Roberto Terrell in the Marshall secondary. And the Buckeyes on the board with a big play. Nugent set to kick off. All the way through the end zone. Marshall did everything out of the gun and mostly through the air on that opening drive. Starting here from its own 20 and Hill will throw again. Tough throw, it's caught. Gain of six, it's the second catch for Marcus Fitzgerald. Play clock down to two. Buckeyes bring the heat. Got rid of it to Josh Davis, first down. People around for this first down. He's got Ahmad Bradshaw on the backfield. And here goes Bradshaw. This is a very good running back who picks up the first down. Nine and a half left here in the opening quarter. And Ohio State scored on its last drive. 80 yard shot from Zwick to San Antonio Holmes. Third catch for Marcus Fitzgerald. Boy, he's throwing that ball well, Mike. He's trying to find some offense. Hill, six of seven here in the opening quarter throw it thought about it that is Bernard Morris doing the thinking doing the faking now got a block from Hill and got into the secondary and out to the 35 yard line a neighbor he's my neighbor 15 yard gain Hill waits for his back out of the backfield and Earl Charles it's a great school to go to and it also it's helpful for football players second chance school yeah kind of a second chance the reputation of the second chance school second and six pass is complete and pick up a couple of yards Buckeyes light him up, and they sit back and cover. Good time protection. Hill. Yeah, time for him to throw, and he got it to span for the first down, and that's what happened. They give Hill a lot of checkoff responsibility. He can get in and out of bad plays. Stretched him out. Earl Charles on the run, picking up blocks. First and goal for Marshall. Down at the one. Put that one on Stan Hill. X. He's he audibleized. This offensive unit needs confidence. 80 yards against the Buckeye defense for a touchdown would give him some. Charles trying to go up and over. A penalty marker is down. 12 Buckeyes on the yes. field. You don't lose any. Behind you though. Strong to the right. This is going to be on Marshall. Yep. Now, I'm going to tell you, only Marshall and teams like Marshall. I'm with you there. That's a dangerous Brian pass. Yes. Ball start. 56. Offense. Five-yard penalty. Two backs to go at somebody. Don't punch somebody in the mouth. <laughs> They're backing up and out of five and a half. Hill's got time. Deflection and incomplete. What? Hill, quick toss, not enough. Just a couple of yards that time for Josh Davis, or for Brad Bates, excuse me. Formation over here to the right side. Third and goal. Hill comes to the near side, or left side, and incomplete. They should have come over here, Mike. Yep. Yep. Josh Davis <laughs> got the flag that he was looking for. Oh. Holding, oh. defense, number two. Yep. Half the distance to the goal. Automatic, first down. Oh, that's huge. It is Charles, right side, right at the goal line. And then, touchdown, Marshall. Earl Charles with a couple of hard-earned yards. For him, Scott Wilkes is holding. It's gone, now. And all three perform perfectly. 
Well, an 80-yard big hit to Santonio Holmes could have been deflating for an offense that struggled so much last week. Marshall walks out on the field and goes 12 plays at 80 yards against the Buckeye defense. Hill completed seven passes. Charles completed the drive. Seven all. Much right now. That was just a, a seven points. It was a lot better for the team for Marshall in, in knowing something about your team. Big leg O'Connor. He too sends it through the end zone. And we'll talk in a minute why the quarterback issue is something that people say maybe there'll be more of an opportunity for Smith down the line. Doesn't matter when Lionel Ross bangs off eight yards. At least for now. Change the cadence a little bit on second and one, but Marshall was waiting for Ross for 6'3, 245. Third and a long yard for the Buckeyes, and nothing for Ross. Fourth down and punt. You don't often do that against Ohio State. Emmanuel Span back for the kick. Toronto, a beautiful kick. Span from the 20. Cuts back and has some room on the near side. It is Toronto, the punter, who pushes him out across midfield. They get a delay. Delay game. Too much time. He's been around long enough. He's got to keep his eye on that 25-second clock. Dead ball. Delay game. Number four, offense. Five-yard penalty. Still first down. <laughs> first and 15 now. Hill had some time. Tough throw to his own coverage and incomplete. He's down to two. Better snap it. Gets it off on the second and 15. One more time. It is Stan. Out to the 42-yard line. Stan Hill lost his mouthpiece there. Well, Mike, what they're doing is taking most of the defenders out of the play and just getting out to the outside with two or three guys. Try to throw that to the tight end. And he couldn't. Brings this one very high. And out of bounds. It's going to be... Somewhere up around the 16, 17 yard line, I think. And now it's own 50. Justin Zwick back in there. Another deep shot is incomplete, intended for Santonio Holmes, who caught it. Ohio State fans don't care as much. They watch the Cowboys scores a little bit more closely. Zwick humps and throws. Pass is caught by Roy Hall. The sophomores corral there around the 27. Things are starting to slow down a little bit for Zwick. He's seeing things better. Although the previous pass play, I thought he should have hit uh, Bam Bam Childers over the middle. High on this uh, hit intended for the tight end. For this game. Second and ten. Lyle Ross. Young kid in your first starts at Ohio State. Third and four. Marshall rushes three. Santonio Holmes breaks three. Pulled down to the 45-yard line. Santonio Holmes looks great, guys. Holmes, Bam Childress, you saw Hall catch a ball. Teddy Ginn is really separating into that third receiver spot. There's a high throw for Holmes that he couldn't corral. Second and 10. Final half minute, first quarter. A lot of throwing in this drive. Zick, Twick for Holmes, again on the run! Touchdown, Buckeye! I'd like to have him if I was coaching. 55th <laughs> consecutive extra point for Mike Nugent. 14-7 Ohio State. Three catches, 146 yards. San Antonio's had a good day in the first quarter. You're seeing why he's considered one of the top young quarterbacks in the country. Hill is in there at quarterback, but the other quarterback who we saw earlier, Bernard Morris, is in at one receiver as the pass. Mike Bradshaw back in the backfield, a good run in the first quarter. Going as far there as A.J. Hawk. After one, Buckeyes lead 14-7 at ABC Sports presentation of college football. Continues after this message and a word from your ABC station. Quarter number two starts with a third and five for the quarterback, Stan Hill. 
with time. Nearly intercepted. A.J. Hawk. Good return man as well. Returnable Ian O'Connor kick from the 35. Well covered. And Smith comes in. He's a very mobile, quick quarterback. Played scout team last year, was the MVP. Used to give the defense good looks of their opposing quarterback. Now we'll see how he looks in a real game. And Maurice Hall comes in to tail back with him, and Smith will get on the edge on first down. His throw is late and incomplete, trying to hit Roy Hall. So Treshel gets his other sophomore quarterback, a couple inches shorter than Zwick, in here, and this is a designed run. And he's brought down by Kevin Atkins. They need to get to the 47 to keep the drive alive. Smith stands in and throws. That's incomplete, out of bounds. Intended for Roy Hall. Manuel Span back to receive the punt of Kyle Toronto. Good return last time, not a great kick here. And down to the 28-yard line. From the 28 for Stan Hill and Marshall. First down run with Earl Charles and stopped by that outstanding defense. Take the pass and then turned it inside to give it to Earl Charles and out to the 31-yard line. He took over for Mark D'Antonio, who went as the head coach at Cincinnati. And Mark came back and coached his first game against the Buckeyes. Hill's toss is complete. Looks like it's shy of the first down. We have three consecutive three and outs here after that Marshall 80-yard drive. Not a pretty punt from O'Connor. Holmes will let it go. And it'll will look a lot better when the stats come out. Justin Zwick is back in the game at quarterback after Troy Smith had a three and out series. First down run with Lydell Ross, only five carries to that point. That is sixth. Here is Zwick on second down, two Ross out of the backfield. There's some of his moves in the open field. Lydell Ross out of bounds back at the 41 yard line. Be a coming out party for Justin Zwick. Thrown for a couple of touchdowns. This drive, a steady diet of Lydell Ross. Put an out party was against Indiana last year. Ran for almost 150 yards. And over the next couple games, Penn State and Michigan State, 400 yards. Well, Ohio State's committed to the running attack. And just do enough on the offensive side to win and not give the other guys opportunities. Third down and about 10. Zwick has time. Trying to find somebody who couldn't wait that long. A nice job. By Jamal Weiss coming up. Former walk on who earned his way to a scholarship. It's not a great kick either. This is going to be less than 30 yards. Maybe about 27, 28 yards. And this is a team that made it to a BCS game in Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. BJ Sanders, one of the best I've seen. Up in Green Bay now. Ahmad Bradshaw with the carry. Across the 45 and near midfield. And Marshall comes into Ohio Stadium. Believing it can hang with the Buckeyes. Good job by Bradshaw to elude the first hit. You see why he's a good running back there. Since that 80-yard touchdown drive, Marshall had three three and outs. They picked up that first down there. This could be a double pass with the other quarterback. Bad throw. Almost intercepted. But they aren't intimidated anymore. Second and ten. Stan Hill's toss to Span. And Emmanuel Span takes it out to the 40. Third and three. Marshall needs to get just past the 37. Hill pocket collapses and he goes down. The ball came out as well. Marshall got it back. And San Antonio Holmes is a well-disciplined return. That is a good play. Oh, it's a touchback. He ended up losing his momentum. This is a big drive here. If, if Marshall can stop him and go in down a touchdown or maybe even get three, that's huge. But if they score, Ohio State scores, it's trouble. Draw with Lydell Ross. About a half dozen to the part of that extra focus to make this a special final season. Senior gets a yard. There the ball came out. Marshall's going to score. They stole the football. Bingo. And Jonathan Goddard has made it a one-point game. Mike, that's just what I was talking about. And Marshall now is in this ball game mentally, physically, and the whole atmosphere in this stadium has changed. There has to be indisputable video evidence. And therein lies the key. Indispute, indisputable video evidence. Balls out before he's down. Sure, took it right out. We have indisputable video evidence. The runner lost the ball before he was down. Play stands, touchdown. 
And this extra point ties the game. They also set it up for somewhere down the line. Well, we yeah. a little fun play. Somebody, somebody gets lazy, they'll get a special play. Bottom line is, fellas, he split the sticks, and we're now tied at 14. You're really guilty of something. For now, I have to suspend you for the first half of the first game. He did. He played the second half, played very well. He's back here in the lineup today. Uh, interesting decision there by Santonio Holmes. <laughs> Thought about bringing it out. And a good job by Maurice Hall. They still ruled he was still trying to go forward. I don't think you can review forward progress, though. First and 10 for Zwick. His throw complete. Santonio Holmes picks up 13 yards. And then he fumbled. A but big wad. A big wad of guys. First oh. and 10 for the 33. Here comes Lydell Ross. He gets right back in there and gains about three yards. It's been an unbelievable formula. And it's not working for the Buckeyes today. This is working. Zwick to Santonio Holmes. At five catches, Santonio's over a buck 60 already. Actually, Terry, he's thriving. He's thriving. Struggling, thriving sounds the same. First and 10 for the Buckeyes. Zwick throws. That was good coverage. Try to squeeze it into Bam Childress. The fans wanted a flag on Ronaldo Williams, and they're not afraid to express it here. Second and 10. Marshall only three linemen, but they walk somebody else down, bring four. Zwick to Holmes again. Santonio, Santonio Holmes is having some kind of game here. Maurice Hall is the running back. Spread him out now as they go five wide, the Buckeyes on first down. One more time. They're playing pitch and catch with Holmes. He's going to have 200 yards before halftime here. You see number four getting wide open against whatever coverage Marshall's putting up thus far. First down and back to the run. It is Ross. Give him a couple there. Second and seven inside of three and a half till the half. Buckeyes all square with Marshall. Justin Zwick. Complete for the touchdown to Roy Hall. Number three for Zwick in the first half. Jim Trestle said it. He's got a quick release. He's got all the throws. Football. Uh, Ter Teddy Ginn was moving ahead of him, and now big catch for him. But Nugent adds the extra point. Paul, the sophomore, out of Cleveland, comes up with a 20-yard touchdown reception. Another long drive for the Buckeyes. Zwick, third touchdown pass of the game. Team that I've seen in a long time. I have not seen this team, even in their championship year, be able to spread their uh, receivers out, open up the backfield, throw the ball as well as they have. We're going to return on a kick here if I'm on Bradshaw. Well, not much of one. Let's see how Marshall responds as the Buckeye fans have been brought back into this one as their team went 80 yards. Earl Charles, first down carry. Get out to the 15 yard line. Hill will run. He's not the runner he once was. Penalty marker is down. It's a holding when it's back there. Came late and it came a little bit late. Uh, please don't promote my product as heavy as you are. <laughs> Need to get out to the 23. Buckeyes bring five. Hill screens it out Break to it. Emmanuel Span. Nice individual effort by Span. You've got to give us a good contribution so you can help us build a new indoor facility. New quarterback of the game, Graham Gochner, comes in. And Gochner tried to carry it for the first down. 50 to go. Ian O'Connor to kick it away. No ill effects from having his foot stepped on. A beautiful kick. Santonio Holmes to the 23. Tripped up at the 31 yard line. The overtime win by Miami in the Orange Bowl over Florida State. First yeah. down, swift to the air. Incomplete for Bam Childress. There was like right now. Offside defense, number 25. Five yard penalty. It goes across the line of scrimmage before it snapped. So first and five for Zwick and the Buckeyes. How about up top again? This is for Teddy Ginn, and the pass is incomplete. Oh, he's going to be a sensational player, I would imagine. Second and five, a Lydell Ross run brings it out to the 40 with a 30 yard coming up. Kind of one of those you want to hurry, but not hurry too much. Right. So you don't leave Marshall a ton of time. Zwick to throw, incomplete. It was intended for Ginn. It would be punch safe and error free. And the Buckeyes will down this. Marshall will take a knee, and we'll get uh, a bunch of scores and highlights here in a couple of minutes. Let me get to the fourth quarter right. within striking distance. And that'll be the story of this first half as Ohio State leads by seven. Marshall will get it first when they come out and start the second half.
21-14. Ohio State 21, Marshall 14. The guys with all the scores and highlights over the yard. Coming up after this message and a word from your ABC station. Senior quarterback out of Oxford, Mississippi, Stan Hill. Wanted to load up and go deep. It was covered, so he came back to his tight end. And it does look weird. Two penalties in the yard. He had a half the distance to the goal penalty on an offside. That's why the number's so off. This is the freshman Emmanuel Span. Fans fired up. They bang the gong on the loudspeakers. Third and three. The best receiver for Marshall, Josh Davis, oh. almost had the first down. He did have it. back, but look where they're marking his forward progress. Right now, Marshall's got to get back in that rhythm. From the 30 and on first down, a run. Stan Hill gave it to Earl Charles, 1,000 yard back a year ago. The captain and a leader on that defense. Second and five from the 35. His pass, a timing route that's just injury to his arm in the first quarter here. Third and five, pressure up the middle. Hill hit as he threw incomplete. Great play by A.J. Hawk. The for Marshall have done a great coverage job here today. He had a rush to get that away. Looking for the penalty on Ohio State, does not get it. And Holmes gets to the 30, and that is the fourth time that Craig Chisholm... Now we're seeing some bigger runs by Lydell Ross. Lydell Ross, now you look at him. Last week he had 141 yards. Now he's been patient. He's got the ability. He sees the defense so well. He's got. He's a slasher type runner, but he's 225 pounds with speed. For the Marshall 47, Ross again. Kevin Atkins. After the pickup of three, second and seven. Empty backfield, five Buckeye receivers. Roy Hall, a touchdown catch earlier, stopped at the 39. Third and a couple here. And it is Ross. A penalty marker is down in the spot usually where you see holding penalties in the week one win over Cincinnati. Third and a dozen for the Buckeyes. They need to get to the Marshall 37. They make a stop here. The net penalty was huge. Bring it a blitz. Switch throw on time and caught. Be Teddy Ginn. Short. Yep, he's doing it again. Gets it away. Good the job. Buckeyes will get good field position. Good job. Hey, these people know how he plays. Long field to deal with. Earl Charles carries first. He only gets. A couple of yards. You mentioned Chris Billman who walked in at halftime. Hawk looks like he reminds me of a tough guy like Chris Billman. Nice cut back by Charles to take it out to the 20. First down run. Charles cuts back and he picks up about four yards. You know, Tim isn't necessarily picking on that boundary corner right now. Ahmad Bradshaw comes in the game, and he runs for a first down. First and 10 for the 34. We're halfway through the third, and Marshall's within a touchdown of the Buckeyes. Here is Bradshaw again. Out to the 43. And now grow and the program and the school. Thus, Bradshaw did not enroll there. He was looking for a home and found one here at Marshall. Earl Charles carries and only gains a half yard. And pick up, make a second and short, third and short. That's what Marshall's been doing on this drive. Here is Charles. Tried to spin, still going. This play hasn't been stopped, but the Buckeyes pursue well. Buckeye fans, I'm sure, thrilled to see that. Second and seven. This is Marcus Fitzgerald across midfield into the 49 yard line. Stan Hill is not intimidated by 100,000 Buckeye oh, fans no. screaming. Oh, no. And all those good defenders. He's checking into plays, checking out of plays. Got a pressure here with the rush coming, but delivered on time and complete to Josh Davis. Had 242 yards and three touchdowns in the third quarter when he went down with a sprained knee. Bradshaw on the edge, delivers the blow and gets out to the 31-yard line. Only two sacks, and Marshall's run the ball for 113 yards here today. Bradshaw, this is a big league running back. Big run formation, one back, just one receiver at the bottom. Charles, good vision to cut back. He's to the 20-yard line. 73 yards on this drive, 10 of them coming on run plays. There's the 11th run of the drive. It's Charles. It's another first down at the 15. Usually, this is the point into the closed end of the horseshoe. Bradshaw. A 
gets it back inside the 10 to the 8 yard line. Bradshaw. But if he stops short, we'll have third and about two yards. This is big. And it's play 16 of the drive. Charles Malone back. He has it. Bouncing. Stop. Good surge by the Buckeye defensive line. Ian O'Connor hit three field goals last week. This one from 24. It's a fake. It's a handoff. It's stopped. You can only play power football so long against the Buckeyes. He looked a little bit upset, like something was not executed. I'm not sure he wanted him to run it straight up into Here's the line. As we get to the final 15, though, Mike Marshall's feeling pretty good about themselves. Very much in the game. Santonio Holmes back on the field for the Buckeyes, who lead by seven. We have more after this message. And a word from your ABC station. Buckeyes start with second and nine and spread the field and empty set for Justin Zwick. With four rushing, deflected and almost, almost intercepted by Kevin Atkins. Ohio State just one for seven on third down conversions. And they need to get out to the 20 to keep this one going. Swift dropping back. Not much room to throw. Oh. A perfect pass to Bam Children's. Powers First down, Buckeyes that. at the 30. From the 30, Lionel Ross. Good move in the secondary, 11 yards. The temperature was up near 80 degrees, but otherwise a comfortable day with low humidity. Contact made on the nose. And here's the call. 96 defense with contact. Five-yard penalty. Still first down. Three receivers, one back, and a quiet day for the tight end, Ryan Hamby, thus far. He's blocking. Ross runs to the weak side and gets near midfield. But the great conditioning of Eddie George, the Ohio State Heisman winner. Ross protects the ball, takes it up in there, and picks up the first down. USC, Colorado State. Three regional options in prime time tonight. Third consecutive prime time night of football on ABC. Ross up the middle to the 41, and now Marshall needs to force a, a turnover here. Now State's got him spread out. Underneath they throw to San Antonio. Holmes the it it football, and Marshall has it. Talk Deontay about, Wilson. Talk about forcing a turnover. You can almost feel it in the ball game where you've got to have something. You've got to make a play. Controlling the ball, no turnovers for Marshall. They force two. They pump the short pass, he'll through deep and incomplete. Second and ten for Stan Hill. <laughs> Could not handle the hot shot coming through. Where's Josh Davis? That's what they need now. Flag down. Hill down. Holding offense. Number 73. That penalty's declined. Ohio State's kept their first defensive end. They're not taking any chances with a fake punt right there. Good hang time. Holmes calls for and makes the fair catch. Scenic tour. Yeah, we, we, we did saw the, every bit of the campus. That's right. We're looking better than ever, too. Justin Zwick under center. First down handoff to Lydell Ross. This is idle in life, as a matter of fact. But to have a dream to be able to follow your dad playing football in the Big Ten. Senior season, team of high expectations. Gets a couple more there. Empty backfield for Zwick. Five wides, and they've done a good job throwing near side to the two receiver side a couple of times here. This time Zwick goes down the middle, intercepted. It was high and it was late, and Chris Royal comes up with the pick. He had two and a flag in at the end of the play. Is and they don't need that, but. Zwick had his eyes locked. That's their heavy formation. Their big back, their big lineman, three tight ends. Earl Charles, the running back. Marshall, what a golden opportunity this is. Left side, and the Buckeyes stand tall there. See Brad Bates in the slot. Hill fires for Davis, incomplete. 
That ball would have had to go through a lot of people to get or for Mel Guillory, 80 could step up. Like they can get a first down here, but he's got to be inside the three yard line. Little trick play, they bring Bradshaw. A flag is down as Bradshaw is brought down at the 11 yard line. There's the hold. He's got two guys who barely have any catches in their career. Hiram Moore and Emmanuel Spann out there with Brad Bates for receivers. Not a lot of experienced options. Can somebody make a play? They shoot it in there. Touchdown. Oh, touchdown. It is Brad Bates. That so their best threaded. Their on. best receivers on the bench. They have nobody who's been a step up guy. And Brad Bates gets within an extra point of a tie game. Behind the linebacker. Ian O'Connor, huge extra point. And with 8.40 to go, Marshall has tied the game. He's identifying Schlegel right here. Look at him point at him. Gets back, calls the play, hits the slant behind the linebacker on the other side of the field. Bingo. Marshall with a touchdown. Catches the game-tying touchdown. All square at 21. And O'Connor kicks it through the end zone. Another long field for the Buckeye. And now Ohio State. All square 21 sends Swick to the air. And down the middle, it might be picked again, and it is. Folks, that's exactly what happened last time. He's young, he's inexperienced. He locks onto the wide receiver, locks onto the wide receiver, doesn't even see the free safety. And Ohio State's turned it over three consecutive possessions, and now Marshall has it at the 41, and they run it for three yards. If you take a step back, guys, and think, this Mac conference can play. From the 44, Bradshaw gets out to the 48-yard line. No Dustin Fox. Broken arm. Happened in the first quarter. Big, big third down play. Third and three for Russ. Hail underneath. It's complete. First down. Josh Davis left the play before the touchdown with France. Their Blake best Clark. receiver. Got it off for Hiram Moore, nearly intercepted. Three-year starter, captain of the defense, along with Simon Fraser up front. Here is Hill, a designed run, this looks like, and he went airborne and got to the 43. Maybe he was watching Chris Ricks. Hill, incomplete. A lot of contact oh. and the flag came. I don't. Pass interference, defense, number two. Spot foul, automatic first down. Inside of six minutes, and Marshall is driving for the lead at Ohio State. Out of the backfield, engulfed by Earl Charles. Trying to shorten the game, well, build the clock. Or, or you got to remember, you got a field goal, wins the game. Let's just keep it down the pike, right? There's a big play. Come on, Bradshaw. He had the first down before he was driven back. 150 yards rushing behind the O-line today. Bradshaw pops it outside. Inside the 20 to the 19-yard line. Yep. And, and maybe we're seeing another one with number nine, Ohio State, on the ropes. Bradshaw. And out to just A.J. Hawk talks about being a leader by example and not very vocal. He needs to be vocal now. Get his players revved up. Make a play. Here they come. Stan Hill keeping it. And he's brought down. A very safe call there with the quarterback. Play by DeAndre in the linebacking course. So the sophomore to Knoxville, Tennessee. Ian O'Connor will try it from 35 yards. First year as a kicker. He's been solid with his kicks up to this point in the first two games. Yanked. He called Terry. Yanked it. And the Buckeyes survive for the moment. It's exactly right. He had, pull, he had to pull that kick. Plenty of time left, though, boys. But yep. what do you do with Zwick now? He's thrown two foolish, foolish penalties. You do it again. After back-to-back -back passes with an interception and incompletion to Santonio Holmes. But he's been at this, this level before. Chris Royal has picked him twice here in this fourth quarter. On the run, it's rough. He is stopped. He lost a yard. I just don't... Their first road loss of the year up in South Bend. Third and 11 for Zwick. A screen to Ross. Doesn't have many blockers. Doesn't have any room. And Marshall's defense answers the call. Five as the Buckeyes are set to kick it away. Twin safeties. Ahmad Bradshaw, one of them. Get away from it, Bradshaw. 
down to the 31-yard line. So don't lose it, but you're still going to try to take some shots. Don't want to jinx it, but Marshall hasn't had a turnover in two games. On the 31, no room to run for Bradshaw. We're down to the final minute, and Marshall is in post mode. I think they are willing to take their shot in OT. Yeah, they're going to OT. I think they are. Buckeyes will use a timeout, I would guess, if they stop him here. Bradshaw try to cut it back. Out to the 32. This is third and 10. The Buckeyes have a timeout remaining. To stop him here, and Ohio State will take it and force a punch. Bradshaw trying to pick up a block. He's got to be careful with the ball and protect it. He's a freshman. Did he get a piece? I don't think he got a piece, no. but I thought no. it was rushed. That's where he just feels comfortable. He can hit yeah. it just like an extra point. He doesn't have to squeeze an extra yard or two out of it. But they've got to get there first with Zwick to Santonio Holmes. The star of the game got out of bounds at the 46. The Buckeyes are about a dozen yards away from a realistic field goal chance. Hopefully they'll be ready if they have to rush out for the field goal, unlike Miami was at the end of the first half last night. Five in the pattern for Zwick. Sideline route. Out of bounds. Holmes, 39-yard line. Short side sideline rounds, what they'd like to throw. Snitker, the fullback, went in motion. He's the wide guy in five wide. The throw is in the middle. It's complete. It's not a first down. Well, continues to roll. Right, they got to get up there. They got to get up. They got to get them down. Everybody's there. You see the clock running. Down to six and five. Four seconds. Three. Hamby's back. It's spiked. That's got to be set. a flag. flag. That's got to be a set. flag. Yep. Two seconds left. Hamby was not set. They've run Nugent out there, the kicker. Two men in motion at the same time. From 55, from Centerville, Ohio, Mike Nugent, the senior, the captain, to get the Buckeyes out of here with a win. Snap, hold, on the way, got it, one, good! The Buckeyes win! Mike Nugent is the hero! Antonio Holmes over 200 yards. Stan Hill 22 of 34. Great leadership. Our Chevrolet players of the game. 